This is our third session of Heroes of Baldur's Gate, a D&D 5e adventure by James Olin that you can get at the DMs Guild. Uh, James Olin, author of the Baldur's Gate computer games, and we're playing a pre-sequel still, so it's set in between um, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. So many of the faces of the characters might be familiar. We're, we're getting another player character today. Who is this fine fellow <laughs> that suddenly appeared at our table? Uh, this is Nico, and he's going to take over one of the NPCs that we've already met. You're going to be Khalid, and uh, we stopped last session mid-fight. You were basically getting your bots handed to you. I mean... By two dwarves and two bugbears. I've still got more than half my hit points. <laughs> well, I don't. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, but not... I'm still at 5 HP. I mean, that's plenty for a mage, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too bad. Oh, we're here. so screwed. <laughs> And then there was someone very loud and boisterous entering the fray with a, Oh, there seems to be evil here that needs its butt kicked. <laughs> and someone less boisterous, not, not boisterous at all. Some, someone rather shy also rounds the corner. We've probably him. not even noticed him yet. <laughs> probably not. He, no. Especially from my point of view, he yeah. is standing behind Minsk. So Yes. If that is who it is. My head's still ringing from the blow. I can't see anything. I can only oh, see bugbears. <laughs> you, yes, you're, you've turned your back on what's happening there with the dwarves and the ranger who's now coming in. But Zan and Alan Crookwillow can see what's happening. Yeah. So yeah. the other known character from Baldur's Gate that we have as a PC is Zan. And he's being played by Eric. And then we have two original characters, Alan Crookwillow, a bard of the College of Whispers. Yeah, not that you would know. <laughs> yes, he's, he, he's not very acting very bard-ish. And no. then, then we have Gwyn, who is a half-elf paladin of Helm and still kind of growing into this role of protector. Yes. But she's doing quite fine at the moment. She's facing off against two bugbears <laughs> to keep them away from Zan, who's been hurt quite a bit by now. Oh, yes. So we're going going to give Khalid and Minsk their initiative. There's Minsk. Mm -hmm. And Nico, would you roll initiative for Khalid? Uh, 20. 20? Oh. Fast off the mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unlike so, you. Or your Started, character. Starting over with uh, with the next round, Khalid is actually the first one to act. What do you want to do? In front Delay. of you, <laughs> in front of you, there's Minsk going. Ah, ah. Okay, uh, as Minsk is standing before me, I guess Khalid doesn't really know what's going on because he's just following Minsk into the alley. <laughs> yeah. And he's starting. Oh, 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 wait, wait, Minsk. Maybe we should first take a look at what's going on. <laughs> Minsk seems not to be inclined to first take a look at the situation. He's just going to bash things until they don't move. Where did I find Minsk? I so, mean, yes, how, a quick how, interlude. How did it come to be that we two are uh, entering this? <laughs> the anyway. reason for, for the two of you being together and here are women, uh, especially <laughs> Jahira, your wife, and Dinah here, the witch, which is basically the boss of Minsk, or rather yes. he's her bodyguard and following her around. And Jahira met up with Dinah here and they exchanged a few things uh, about what they know, what's going on in the woods and in the city. And Dinah here said um, that she would going to send Minsk to take a look at what the group that you sent with the Zan is doing and to get a report. And Jahira basically just sent you along. Your, Khalid is not sure whether she, she just wanted you out of her hair or whether she actually thinks you could do something. And yeah, she basically said, uh, take a look at what they're doing and help them out. The last time uh, you saw Khalid was when he was leaving the Elfsung Tavern with his wife Jahira after having met you and Imwen there, or rather traveling there with you and meeting Imwen. And last time you saw him, he was also an NPC playing, being played by me as the dungeon master. But um, for complicated reasons that I could explain right now, but I'd rather leave to the pre-show talk, uh, he's now being played by Nico because we were planning with another PC and we changed things around a bit and now now's your chance to play Khalid. 
So. <laughs> and now he's here, everybody. He's here. The most <laughs> self-assured hero of them all. <laughs> mm. uh, yes. I'm not sure which of us is more self no, sure I am very, very sure <laughs> that I am correct in my assessment <laughs> that, that this you. party is doomed. Yeah. Right now, yeah, and, and until a few seconds ago, also might have been true. But now, See? But See? now there's Khalid who's not doing anything, obviously. Or are you trying now to? Now there's Minsk. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your turn. It's my turn. So uh, I try to step. Out of Minsk's shadow yes. to take a look. I mean, <laughs> good luck with that. I can't, I can't really see what's going on because of the giant tower that appeared out of nowhere in the middle of Palace <laughs> Gate. Up, Palace yes. Gate up, see? The skyline um, changed a bit. So you, mo you, move, yeah. you move a few steps to the side and yeah. you can see two dwarves who are fighting Zan and Alan Crookwellow. And you can also hear noises of more fighting going on around the corner. Deep grunts and growls and also a female high-pitched voice that goes, By hand! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay, so I I think I I do what Minsk intended to do and I charge into battle and attack the closest dwarf. How far can you move? Or 30 feet? Or? 30 feet. I mean. 30 feet, uh, yes. Probably, yes. So those were 10. I think you can just make it to yeah. the, the 20, first dwarf. 20, yes. You can, uh, you can reach the first dwarf. Exactly. Reach the dwarf. Are we going to, call, uh, to play with the optional rules of Pinter? I think in this case we're going to, because you're now exactly opposite of ah, yeah. Adam mm. Trubwiller, so you get advantage. Mm. Nice. Oh, great. 19? 14. No. We're going to take the 19, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is a hit. Four. <laughs> Plus? No. That was no. already... Oh, <laughs> Plus <the> just one. <laughs> yeah. It happens. <laughs> Now, uh, next one up is actually the bugbear, oh, one no. of the bugbears in oh, front no. of you. And You're what is fine. your AC? 18, because I have a shield. <laughs> he misses. Yes. And the other one misses too. You're lucky. Mm -hmm. No, I have a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Minsk. Minsk is, oh, well, Khalid, you go first. <laughs> And the hamster goes second, <laughs> and he then charges into the situation, and he's just coming up next to Khalid, towards me, so here, yeah. and going to attack the other dwarf. Uh -huh. While on his shoulder, there's, um, and he manages to actually hit because he's got advantage, and the rodent on his shoulder goes squeak. <laughs> Which translates to a fierce battle cry, of course. Oh, yes. that sound I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding on to, to the, the shoulder pad of the armor and showing his tiny rodent teeth very fiercely. I think I look over my shoulder now and just do a little double take when I see the hamster. <laughs> Alan! <coughs> Alan. The first thing Alan is going to do is, seeing that Zan is pretty bloody and beaten up, Use a yes. bonus action to cast Healing Word on him. Oh, that's oh. nice. So that is 1d4 plus my uh, modifier, so Charisma, so d4 plus 3. That's 5 hit points. That doubles up my current hit points. <laughs> <laughs> so start, and then I will use a Cantrip. I'm going to use Vicious Mockery. Um, how, how are the two dwarves in front of me looking currently? Can you cast with action and bonus action? Uh, yes, if as long as it's a cantrip. Uh, it's a cantrip. If yeah. it's a cantrip, then it's mm -hmm. fine. Uh, so um, the dwarf directly in front of you, to the right, seen from Alan's point of view. Um, he's shorter and a bit tinier than the other one, and he's also already bleeding. Mm -hmm. And the bigger one, with his dark armor and black helmet and dark beard, bristling from underneath the helmet. Mm -hmm. He looks far more buff, and he doesn't seem to be faced at all by Khalid going plink okay. against <laughs> But considering, considering that uh, Minsk has just char uh, charged in, I will cast Vicious Mockery and basically just say, All right, you hairy bugger, you've had it now. Uh, he needs to make a... <laughs> on which one? On, on, the, on the, the bigger one. The bigger one, yeah. Because I think he's the one that uh, I've mm -hmm. annoyed the most. Um, <laughs> he needs to make a Wisdom Saving Throw. Wisdom? Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's not very good at that. Uh, is a six enough? 
No. <laughs> uh, he takes 1d4 psychic damage. Three. And he fails to save. Uh, and he has disadvantage on the next attack roll he makes before the end of his next turn. Because you mocked him. Yeah. So very Viciously. Yeah. Zan, it's your turn. Oh, great. <laughs> um, Aren't you feeling better now? Slightly. <laughs> For odd reasons, I'm not going to go into, but I've heard the sound of squeaking, so I'm going to <laughs> viciously attack the, um, the smaller dwarf that hit me with my sword. Is it actually a vicious attack? No. <laughs> ah. No. I'm also technically still blade singing, so... Oh. Right. Uh, that oh. is a natural 20. Excellent. Oh, nice. Yes. Then give me uh, damage. double die damage. Should I roll two or should I just double up? Oh, uh, roll two. Roll two. All right, that one. More dice rolling. That's uh, 13. 13? Yes. Nice. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> a little bit of his beard peels off. <gasps> this! Oh! That's not. <laughs> We didn't agree on this! Ha ha! <laughs> that's what happened. How, how many damage did you make? 13. 13, and that's, that only cut his beard. <laughs> that no, is, it that also it, it cut a bit deeper, but yeah. for him, the beard is the, the more important bit. So yeah. one, one of the braids in his beard just <gasps> peels oh, off. Oh, yes. Underneath perfect. there's blood, and he actually. But he doesn't care about the blood, he just. Yeah, he doesn't care about the, the blood yeah. and the muscles mm. and the bone. <laughs> Keep care about the beard. Fun fact that's my entire hit point pool. <laughs> <laughs> 13. 13. Wow. <laughs> Level three majors. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, now, it's um, it's the turn of the dwarf in the big armor, and he looks down at the viciously mocking halfling. Not that much down. <laughs> <laughs> and he reaches up and takes off his helmet mm -hmm. and says, You want to say that again? You. Kagan? Get lost, stupid fairy. Oh. <laughs> uh, do do Does, I know him too? Yeah, yes. you can you can recognize the voice. That's Kagan. Um, not very lovely dwarven mercenary that you might have. Oh, met. this day is getting better and better. <laughs> yeah, let's end this on a yeah. low note. And we could agree on that, actually. <laughs> um, first, I'm going to make this one even half as tall. And he tries to cut Alan Crockwell in half. What's your AC? 16. Alan? He has disadvantage. Oh, he has disadvantage. You're right. Then um, you're lucky you didn't get the natural 20. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but he does get a normal hit in, and that's eight hit points. That's fine. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm bright as rain. You <laughs> probably say that on one hit point, though. Yes. Oh, right, just about a scratch. <laughs> so if you cut him in half, is he becoming a quarterling? <laughs> He's going to become a quarterling. No one's going to cut him in Two quarterlings. Mm. But He's he managed He managed to get his daggers in between and only gets, gets a cut across the ribcage. It's fine. It's all good. I've had worse. More I've had me. worse. Finally! <laughs> okay. Um, I've had enough of this. Have have any of these bugbears, have either of them actually taken any damage so far from yes, me? Yes, have yes, yes. Done uh, the one to your right, this one, has all, is already limping mm -hmm. and there's red splatters all over his fur Excellent. and he's got a cut across his muzzle. Okay. I was just thinking if I should sacred, uh, sacred use my sacred weapon. Uh, That's completely up to you and Helm. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I think well, I've used up my Gwyn, spell slots, so that was it. <laughs> Gwyn is still not sure whether becoming a paladin of Helm was not kind of a clerical error <laughs> on part of the gods. Did, did, did we do the one in I the think, first scene did, session yeah. already? Um, I still like it. That's Perhaps. Fine. Yeah, but it doesn't really... No, so it could become kind of a catchphrase, right? <laughs> the clerical error. The clerical error. The clerical error. I'm going to use um, channel divinity. Oh, and what are you going to do with channel divinity? What are your options? I am going to use it to make my weapon sacred, and so I can add my charisma modifier to my attack rolls. It also emits a bright light and becomes magical. Yes. So, so you raise your sword, yeah. and suddenly oh. the, the blade starts to shine in a in a golden 
light, yes. the slight silver tinge. And then and there's a ringing and singing in the air. Almost a, t a tiny bit like the the moon blade that Zan is swinging oh, around, nice. just mm. more glowy. Um, I'm not more, sure. more glowy. More glowy. Even more glowy, yeah. Oh, your, your shine, yours shine is more like moonlight and hers is now <laughs> oh, like fire see. and I sunlight. Yeah. You want to watch out, Zan? I think you've got a bit of competition. Helm, smite thee! And then I'm going to basically smite this. Uh, you you here. smite. Who uh, oh, I smite? That's a... Uh, That's a... Uh, long sword. 14 plus my charisma modifier, 17 to hit. Oh, yes, that's actually a hit. Yes. Um, so, do damage. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, four slashing <laughs> damage. Did you do have a bardic inspiration, or did you just use that? I, can, I can't use that on damage. No, on damage. No, no, not, damage. Oh, not yet. No, not yet. Although, maybe um, that's a different uh, Don't get a damage roll, I just get an attack roll. Uh, and okay. not, yeah, unfortunately, that's just four. But for very magical damage, very holy damage, very glowy damage. Uh, it looked nice. He gives off. Yes. He gives off um, a surprisingly high pitched squeal. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And tries to. Worry not, friends. I will stand between you and the bugbears. <laughs> oh my goodness! And I, you, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> The second dwarf. We have two of them now. This, this is very, very uh, insecure whether he should deal with the mage in front of him first to cut off a bit of his beard or with the giant ranger in his back. <laughs> and he decides to turn around and try and cut off the ranger. Who is two or three at least, as we have all learned. That's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he, he doesn't look so so sure of how this fight is going anymore. Mm -hmm. Khalid. I do the same thing all over again. You're going to attack? Yeah. Go ahead. So we're going You've to got question advantage. your involvement and then attack? Yes. So the same yeah. thing? Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, 22. 22. You could roll. With uh, you advantage. Can, you have advantage. You can still roll advantage? Roll. Yes, yes. Yeah. because you still have them pincered. And yeah, you might, but why should I? Okay, do you I might, have to? You might get a crit. You could. It's, it's a net yeah, 20. It yeah. Could be a net 20. 22 it is. Could be. That's a hit. No problem. Do damage. And uh, eight. Ah! <laughs> he seems to have realized that taking off the helmet was not a good idea when you actually cut him <laughs> back of his neck and into his hairline. But for dramatic effect. <laughs> yes, for dramatic effect. <laughs> I never liked you. Blimey. Well, that feeling is mutual. So. <laughs> <laughs> the bugbear, the really hurt one, he disengages okay. and starts scrambling up the wall. Which wall? This wall? This one. Uh, yeah, this wall. Oh, do I get an attack? Oh, no, because he disengages. He, he's yeah. he's okay. disengaging, so you don't Damn. get an attack of opportunity. He goes, oh, 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 Coward! No, no, not for this money! Not for this money, Kagan! <laughs> Coward! <laughs> Good. Um, the other bugbear. So I just stand there and think about why he doesn't like me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What did they ever do to him? offended. <laughs> you think he Didn't might he just talk? Like I think him. he only talked to Jahira and I stood behind her. And <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. yes, but he didn't like Jahira either. Yeah, okay, mm. that's problem, yeah. Doesn't like you by association. Mm. The okay. other bugbear grows coward. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> He still tries to hit you. <laughs> AC is... Uh, 18 still. Um, I rolled a 19. Damn. Plus four. Um, I was too busy agreeing with him. <laughs> yes, you were. Oh, right. <laughs> That's nine hit points. Ah! <laughs> That's kind of smart. Yeah. Um, that is scary. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I'm probably going to... Stumble aside a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm bleeding quite heavily now. <laughs> I mean, if you were made out of money, he would like you. So. Minsk goes. Yeah. But if I was made out of money, I wouldn't have attacked him. Because that's, I, that's true. I should I hold a sword if I'm made, was made I made of money? I am the reaper of the wheat of evil! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And then he, he cuts across the armor of the dwarf and actually cuts through at least a little bit and then the tiny thing on his shoulder goes <laughs> and jumps directly into the face of the dwarf, <laughs> scrabbling at the face mask of the helmet, trying obviously to get at something soft in there. Very good. But he misses. Oh. 
They are, yes. They are actually they are stats for Boo in this they adventure. They are stats for, for okay. yes. yes. <laughs> Very important. This is perfect. This, I mean, yes. Yeah. Um, Zan. Uh, yes, I mean, I might as well, right? <laughs> Doesn't it Make sense? cake and not like me even more. Was it your gun before that? Or? I thought it was because I healed him last time. Yes, you did. Oh. Yeah. He's 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 not about to faint anymore. So you wanna attack Okay, whatever. The dwarf right in front of you, or do you wanna um, um, maneuver over to Kagan? Because you said you are going to make Kagan like you even less. I could technically, right, without taking Oh. No, I couldn't. Okay, so I will just attack the dwarf in front of me. Again, with my shiny moon blade. Um, that is... Oh, great. Um, that is a 20. That's a hit. Yes, because moon blades are awesome. Um, and that's 7 damage. <laughs> we have rolled already. 3 ones on damage this round. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Kagan. Are you sure you haven't missed me out? I missed you out right you directly before Alan I mean, before Zan. So yeah, you, thought... you you were waiting for So I'm <laughs> yes, I'm in striking pose basically. <laughs> like... Yes. Alan, what do you want to do? Um in slow motion. Hmm. Striking with the sword. Simultaneously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all happening at the same time. Um I will it's a shame I'm not a rogue. But I think what I will do. It's a shame I'm not a rogue either. <laughs> Uh, Looking like a rogue. <laughs> it was your decision. It was my decision. Actually, the miniature is called Halfling Rogue. So. Well, there we go. That's just how uh, how it is. I'm just going to attack this guy with my rapier and my dagger. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to attack with my rapier as my main action. That is a 13 to hit. That's not a hit. I'm going to attack you with dagger. You have advantage. advantage. Oh. Oh, right, because we're doing pincering movements. Yes. In that case... It is a 23. Mm, that's a hit. So, 1d8 plus 3 piercing, 4 Another damage. one on damage? No. Unbelievable. With my bonus action, I'm going to attack with my dagger, with my offhand. Oh, can, can you be so unlucky with the damage rolls? <laughs> Go ahead. Is that also with advantage? That's still with advantage, yes. But that's... two two fifteens, <laughs> so a 20. Yeah, uh, that's a hit. And that's just the 1d4 without the modifier. Two <laughs> damage. <That's a> two. <laughs> I mean, it's close, though. Yeah. Yes, yeah. As long as you don't roll off the table, everything's <laughs> fine. Yeah. Um, nice. Or into a glass, which also oh, happens. Yeah, Good. Yeah, I think rather than sort of reply to what he said to me, I just start stabbing him. Because <laughs> <laughs> ah. viciously or? Yeah. No, just normally. Uh, he, okay. He would probably say something like, "If you want to fight, then fight. Don't talk." <laughs> <laughs> so you mock viciously, but you stab normally. Exactly. <laughs> says, okay. Get off and lifts one of his heavy metal boots to try and kick you, but you dodge <laughs> <laughs> yep. without a problem. So he just basically gets his foot tangled in your coat for 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 a second okay. and uh -huh. tries to. To get out of While here. he's trying to get the, the boot loose, you see a shiny moon <laughs> cutting into the dwarf right next to you. Yes, Quinn. Yes. You only got one bugbear left. The yes. other one is one bug scrabbling bear. up the wall. Five hit points. It sounds like you're dealing with your problems. You've just got the one bugbear left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Right. Um, well, um, there's no way I'm gonna you know move away from him or anything like that. So of yeah. course I will smite him as well. My sacred weapon lasts for one minute, so That's still it's still glowing. Um, well, uh, you may not be a coward, but you will die all the same. Yes, that's a 17 hit. That's a hit. Excellent. Um, oh, that's decidedly more dead. Excellent. <laughs> uh, that's 11 slashing damage. Oh, nice. So properly this time. Finally. <laughs> Motivated by all the damage I've taken. I think maybe the coward was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you took damage, didn't you? Yes, I did. You need to make a concentration check for Shield of Faith. Oh, damn. Why did you have to remember that? Because I'm a stickler for the rules. Yes, you are. And, and you also me. wrote down that you need to think of. Yes, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> concentration. So concentration goes... The dwarf tries to hit Minsk Can't and save. misses um, um, widely. Khalid. 
Oh. Natural one. That's not good. Shield of Faith goes. Oh, well. Wow. Yeah, right. it, it's it's the fighter thing yeah, for the I first try. two levels. Yeah, I try. Try just once more. Try to hit. Still points. advantage? Yes. Okay, uh, so it's um, 22 again. That's a hit. And seven. Seven. Oh, well, oh someone didn't roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> the bugbear tries to get back at you. Um, 15? Uh, no, actually, my shield is in place, so. <laughs> he seems not so sure of himself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Minsk goes, ha ha! There's more! No, no, there's not more where that was coming from. I only have one hamster. <laughs> but there's more where this is. I am going to hit you with my sword. <laughs> and that he does. What an eloquent man. Mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got a few lines memorized, and if he has him to, him to improvise, things, ah, sorry, things, yeah. things go Makes sense. weird. <laughs> uh, Alan, <laughs> the stabbing thing worked pretty well last time. Oh, okay. This might go again already. The dwarf, yeah, you're, yeah. you're, you're oh. already. The dwarf is trying to to get it, get an overview of the battlefield. He sees one of his bugbears leaving. He sees the dwarf next to him staggering. There's someone stabbing and slashing at him from the back. There's Minsk screaming into his ear every few seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not really in a good place, so I think I'll no. just carry on with the stabbing. So you can kind of see the gears turning behind his <laughs> eyes as he tries to think about what to do next. Okay, I will try and stab him in those eyes. Uh, I'm assuming with advantage still. Yes. So that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20 is a hit. For Ooh. 10 Ooh. piercing damage. Oh, nice. And okay. then bonus action with the dagger. Nice. Stabby, stabby. Wow. Two fours, so that's only a nine to hit. <laughs> that's a miss. That's a miss. That's a bad miss. Did we forget Khalid? No, 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 no. His turn was he, just he so quick. Damage. Oh, he was Because he's a low level yeah. fighter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it because I was rolling concentration here. Yeah. Zan. Yes, let's expedite our success, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and I will still Moonblade. Do I have advantage on that? Yes. Yes, that's very good. You've got Minsk on the other side. That's that should very be good. double that... advantage. <laughs> it's really helpful. Well, I have Minsk and Boo on the other side. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Triple that's advantage. Uh, 20 to hit, dirty 20 to hit. This is a hit. A dirty 22. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yes. Um, and that's 10 damage. 10. While the moon blade cuts deep into the dwarf, hopefully. So, what happens now is that the dwarf that you hit goes, Ah! Oh! He drops his weapon and he tries to pry the hamster <laughs> off his face. And says, I quit! I quit! I surrender! I, oh, I got it off my face! <laughs> the bugbear kind of falters and tries yeah. to look back and Kagan slowly lowers his axe and... Fine. I'm not going to die for this little money. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just holding the bugbear back. Gwyn would be next. Uh, well, is he surrendering, like, clearly? It seems so, yeah. Okay. He's, lower, he's lowering his yes, axe surrender, slowly. you filthy abomination in the name of Helm. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your bugbear goes... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And he looks up longingly at, at his partner, who's already <laughs> clambering across uh, the roof. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Wow. He, he licks his snout and... Oh, this was not a good idea. Definitely not. So, well, uh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and Elle still want to attack? No, I'm fine holding him at blade point. Minsk still well, goes, ah! <laughs> Anyone want to do something about that? <laughs> Minsk seems to be still going no, strong. in berserker mode? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's not raging, he's just not very bright. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Minsk, they surrendered. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Well, gosh darn! <laughs> I was looking forward to more of this. Come, Boo, come. No, he's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the eye? Good hamster. <laughs> so I, I've probably got both my blades pointed at, what's his name? K Kagan? Kagan. Kagan. Uh, I would probably also do the same as uh, Gwen and tell him mm. to drop his, his weapon. 
because he only lowered mm-hmm. it, I think, thus far. Mm. Yes. Um, he finally drops the weapon. Yes. So we live another day. <laughs> Hell be praised. You seem disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> well, somewhat. Now, there are very good times for banter, but I think this is not one of them. So the question is, what do we do now? That's a good question. I want to slowly sort of circle with this bugbear and basically sort of force him. So to... for, force them so we have them kind yeah, of. Yeah, so we have them sort of surrounded. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, not you know, a problem, yes. Shushing him over there. Once once you make it very clear, then yeah. he, he doesn't. <laughs> he gets it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Why have you attacked us? Because I was paid to. I spit on the floor. <laughs> Mercenaries. I'm not quite sure of that girl. Who paid you? The weird halfling. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> now, I'm very sorry, but there's more than one halfling in this city. I and I'm not, I'm not weird. I didn't say anything. He was oddly specific, though. <laughs> what, which weird halfling? There's plenty of those around. I know a few myself. Are you going to let us go? Well, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. If I give you information. But do not banter, barter, or negotiate with criminals. Don't listen to the... <laughs> hmm. I mean, you're not really the one in the position to be making demands currently. So I will find I'm out... I'm making an offer. I'm not interested in your offer. I'm interested in finding out information, and then I will decide, or we will decide, I suppose, this is somewhat of a thrown-together democracy, what happens afterwards. Oh, is this what this is? Shall we say, perhaps the quality of the information you provide us will show, will influence what happens to you. So please, the floor is yours. Or it will be, if you're not bloody careful. That was a lot of words. For exactly what I was proposing, I give you information, you let us go. So, yes, we've been hired by a halfling who works for the Black Network. Mm. You... They might know him, I don't know if you know him. Well, give me a description. Short, angry, stabby. It fits you very well, Don. What, me? I'm not angry. (laughs) I might be a bit stabby, but I'm not angry. (laughs) Short, no one can fault. Okay. Usually, for at least for some time, travelled with a mad mage. Well, not that mad mage, but mad anyways. (laughs) Do you have a name? I have a name, yes. Yeah, you want to know the name of him. (laughs) Monteron. Monteron. I think you're the mad mage. It feels like we've been here before. We have? Do you know this name? Do you know this alley? <laughs> I'm sure we yes, can. Yes, I think it. We've been to any and every alley in, LA in Baldur's Gate, right? <laughs> That, that is true. Not that many. <laughs> that is true. Also, I think this is actually the alley you stood in holding her <laughs> chain in. Yeah, for it half was. Hour. Yes, it is. It is. So I've been. Wow. I mean, before today. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. Well, and. So is that the name of the halfling or the mad mage? The halfling. It's the halfling. Do you know the name of the mad mage. Yes, and they know it too. It's Zar. Zar? Yes. Who's Zar? And he's not technically, well, he is kind of mad, but mostly. Yeah, how long have, how long has it been since you last saw him? That's a good question, DM. How long has it been? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think at least a few months. It has been at least a few months. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. How, how long ago did you take this contract on our heads? Today. Today? Today. Where? Yes. Well, nearby, at one of their headquarters, which you were sniffing around, which is why I was ordered to yeah. take you out. That is preposterous. They were merely collecting donations, <laughs> I believe. 
innocent look. <laughs> I'm sure the truth lies somewhere between these points sure. of view. Anyway. Now, can we go? I or mean, at least can I go? You can keep the rest. <laughs> I, I give you a very incredulous look. Why me? I mean... You're talking to him. Of course I'm talking to him. We need to find out information as to... Do you, you have a way go, in, actually, Kagan? A way into the headquarters? Well, you knock, and if they know your face, they let you in. Wonderful. You just ensured that you are not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be a very Wait. bad idea. Because mm. <laughs> what's to stop you from just running back there and going, Oh, sorry, didn't really work out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Send more men. Tougher than we thought. We could... We let me go, and I promise you I will not go back there. You don't strike me as someone who keeps his promises. No offense. Excuse I mean, kiss me. <laughs> I usually keep to my contracts unless my life is threatened. You are threatening my life. Damn right. <laughs> well, that we did, yeah. I'll tell you what, tell you what. What do you want to do? Oh, uh, uh, you're asking me? Yes. Well, uh, clearly you seem against the idea. These are clearly Kendo. criminals who've been hired to murder other citizens, and uh, we should take them back to the authorities, and you know, so they can be charged with, um, you know, attempted murder. Okay. I think. What would an appropriate punishment be? I mean, I haven't murdered anyone that we know of. Uh. I don't know. I'm, I'm frantically going through what do I know about the laws of Baldur's Gate. I, I, I suppose they would be blocked in prison? Or perhaps exiled? Perhaps. You want to do something, Nico? No, I, I just want to know what do Minsk and the two of us know about uh, Monterun and, and, and the... Um, do I remember correctly that we maybe traveled together for one day near the friendly <laughs> arm and then decided very soon that... Um, that this is not going to work out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And they always complained, and we always complained. And Jahira complained. Yeah. Yes, basically that's what happened. And then at some point, the leader of the group just said, Oh, fine, you go your way. Yes. We're, fine. we're going to find another rogue and another mage, and we're going to be... Oh, no, yeah, Zen, you're your mage. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And <laughs> well, and the, because the kept going. certain yeah. mine would be a good place yeah. to swap yes. out. I, I, I guess for... probably in the mines... Um, you decided to and just left. We just left them there. <laughs> and we flooded the mine. <laughs> no, that was a different so, mine. So oh. it has been more than a few months. Then. <laughs> but whatever. Maybe this yeah. is why they want revenge because they got left in a mine. <laughs> you think they made it out of there? What? Obviously. So what do we remember about them apart from that? Uh, you remember Montremont being. Um, being someone who likes to complain, especially about the people he's traveling with, um, that they are goody two shoes, which is kind of a double thing for him as a halfling not wearing any shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Zar was mostly muttering to himself and saying nonsensical things and talking to people who were not there right. and being creepy generally. And you saw him raise skeletons at least once. Mm. Oh, there, there you go. I, I, I imagine while Khalid, yeah. Khalid is reminiscing, I'm probably uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> still deep in my, my kind of conversation with, uh, with uh, Gwyn. Oh, right. So, so, so here's the thing, right? We take them to the authorities. Yes. They will probably get something like exile, maybe have to okay. pay a fine. Now, all I'm, all I'm saying is we can cut out the middleman. Probably also a good idea because we don't really want to make too much fuss about the Zentarum yet, you know? They're kind of staying very undercover. Right. So what I'm saying is, and I, at this point I turn back to Kagane, leave us all your money and get out of the city and never come back. I thought you wanted to use his face. What? Don't we need someone oh, that, yeah. that is able to actually get in to one of these buildings? I mean, I imagine... Well, I, I have abilities that may help, and we don't need to employ his services. I was not going to employ him, per se. No, I was just <laughs> using... Never mind. I like the halfling steel. And he hands over a coin purse. I kind of look oh. for confirmation. 
I mean, this is highly irregular, but I suppose under the circumstances... Right. <laughs> How do you suppose we get into the building to check? I told you, I have abilities. It's okay. fine. Why didn't you... Sure. You know, we just let the evil people go. Well, yeah, that doesn't seem right to I mean, me. I agree with the large man. Well, I'll tell you what. That uh, means, Scanny has a good point, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, what happened here? Lady. What happened here anyway? Why did you get in a fight with these people? I don't know. They attacked us. I was paid to kill them. No, oh, okay. <laughs> they were trying to kill us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your stories That's what happened. at least match up. Okay. But thank you for helping us. <laughs> Look, they're getting there just as our punishment. That's all I'm saying. And Minsk, if you really want to go and serve proper justice, then you know where they're going. They're leaving the city. Do I even, I don't, no, I don't even know his name. You, fella. <laughs> you, large man. You, large man. You can go, go and chase him if you want. Is that a hamster? I suggest... Oh, yes. <laughs> no. No. She this is weapon. This is not just a hamster. Oh. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, here it comes. What? Oh, that it's was bad. It's a miniature what? giant space mm -hmm. hamster. Here we go. And his name is Boo. Oh, uh, uh, lovely to meet you, Boo. I'm Gwyn. <laughs> it was not his whole life story this time. I'll pet the hamster. The, the hamster is... Cleaning itself and it has tiny blood spatters on his face. Oh, well done. Uh, on, the, mm. on the tiny pink hands. Yes, good hamster killing the bad monsters. I hand it back. <laughs> okay. Well He's a warm handful it's very cute. of, of um, cute but deadly fur. Cute but deadly. Well, I thought I'd seen everything. Well, I think, I think I like this man. Well, fine then, Kagan. Go leave and die somewhere else. So you're not going to do anything else, you're just taking his money away? Taking his money and he's getting out of the city and if he ever comes back, then he'll be in trouble. Hmm. If you any... know he'll actually go out of the city? What if he just goes around the corner and then... Well then, if, he, if we see him again, then he's in trouble. <laughs> we will talk to our witch. Right, Boo? And Dinah here will tell us whether um, we should follow this up. Ah... Uh, Khalid, you want to stay with them? I believe they can use the help. <laughs> oh, yes, yes yeah. sure. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Well, we are in dire need of a fearless leader. <laughs> I mean, don't I'm you? sorry I need to leave. <laughs> oh, that's fine, Minsk. Don't worry about it. Well, you all seem to know each other, so... You know, I, I feel like I'm intruding in something that... <laughs> But oh no no please stay! I'll let them do their thing. <laughs> well, I I believe we will see each other again. Oh nice, that's good. And fight evil side by side. Yes, indeed. indeed. And again, here Ow. we go. <laughs> <laughs> While this is going on, I'm just peering into the coin purse to see if uh, there's actually anything in it. <laughs> rough estimate, it would be around fifty gold. Yeah, that's fine. Coins, gold pieces. <laughs> yeah, um, just a few smaller denominations in mm -hmm. there, but. Nice but at some those. point during all this, my blade actually stops humming. Yeah, same. Uh, also, I'm going to now just take a step back and lay on hands on myself. <laughs> just heal myself a little bit. Just, oh, I will tell Dinah here you. and Jahiro that you are bravely facing off evil in the city while we face off evil in the woods. That sounds like I will a, see you later. Thank sounds you. like a wonderful idea, fellow. Maybe okay. don't tell the Church of Helm that we let a criminal go, but you know... <laughs> I will not. Thank you. I don't, we're not letting them go. They've paid just punishment. That's all I'm saying. We just saved ourselves a lot of time. What and we don't have much time. I suppose. Minsk and Boo turn around. Or at least um, Minsk turns around. Boo <laughs> looks over, over his round... There's not actually a shoulder on a hamster. <laughs> so <laughs> he peers back over, over his Blob. round, fluffy hamster butt. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Blue. Thank you. Hmm. Strange fellow. Strange hamster. A min it if it's is... a miniature, but it's giant. Doesn't that just... Sorry, yeah. did you want to say something? No, no, not important, no. Okay. No. I just He's not that, that strange. He's a beloved friend. And I hope they erect a statue for him one day. He's <laughs> a great, great person. I mean, he's not very bright, obviously, but he's... He seems he's got incredibly brave, brave and, and <laughs> so. I mean, he did help us out, I guess. I wouldn't the, put it past them to erect a statue right for him. Anyway, thank you for the assistance. Right. Okay, I've had enough of this. Go on, get out of here. You know the terms. 
Then, until we meet again, maybe. Or never, I hope, for your sake. Probably. You two look a lot alike, you know that? We do. <laughs> the, the, the guy he, he talked about, Monteron, and, and you, they, you look very much... I mean, that's not racist or something, but <laughs> I, I think you look like Monteron a little, little bit. Right. Okay. Oh, and they would know Monteron, wouldn't they? Oh, I you guess. mean for the... Oh, I see. Face, yes. Oh. Right. And okay. you don't even have to pretend. You can just be your lovely self. I, I mean, I don't... Okay, well, I don't know what this fellow looks like, but my plan, now that they've gone... I, I, I have the ability to disguise my appearance. So I can just pretend I'm him. Can I go to ask the dwarf? Yeah, they, the other I, let, one? I let them all go. Ah, I yes. So the both dwarfs and the bugbear also... But I'd also ask them to hand over them. money or anything they have. Yes. The bugbear <laughs> <laughs> hands over a chain with teeth. That, that'll do. <laughs> it's not so much more for my profit, more just to take something away from them. Fair enough. You know, mm. you do and bad if, stuff, you lose things. If it's your profit, it's also like, you wouldn't say no, obviously. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You yeah. say no to some mm -hmm. teeth. Does, does the other dwarf give me anything? The other dwarf also hands you a coin purse, if you insist. Uh, yeah, you, you insist. I, I do insist. <laughs> so you just, just want to teach just them a lesson? Them. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I mean, isn't that robbery? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't that just attempted murder. It was, yes. Exactly. One so, evil does not make... Two, two evil <laughs> does not make one good. You mean two wrongs don't make a right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning, okay? Yes, well, I mean... I mean, if you think that, that's fine. That's not my personal philosophy. And seeing as no one else was willing to interject, then... At the end of the day, what does it matter? Besides, I mean, all I'm saying is perhaps we need to do things a little differently to acquire, like I said, resources and time. Yes. And we're 50 gold pieces up, at least. Yes, and one course. tooth necklace. Very I'm sure nice. I could use this for something. <laughs> sure. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> for inventory. It, might be it, seem, it seems like it might be actually bugbear teeth. Probably uh, not from the one wearing them. <laughs> From the cow, maybe. He didn't keep his own teeth yeah. in no. case he might need them. Again. Oh, maybe it's his baby teeth. It's hard oh, to tell. Maybe. Bug their teeth oh. necklace. Well, okay. Well, I will. I will. You all seem to know what you're doing, and. <laughs> <laughs> so how much? I will follow you for now. How much money is there altogether? So. You actually stopped to count. <laughs> well, well, maybe not right now. Maybe not right now, but when when next time we rest. This dark alley is the best place in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> to rearrange Get your, your person, equipment. count your money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I am very exhausted. Yes. And could do with a bit of a bit of a nap somewhere. Do we have the time? Or oh, do you think we should? Uh, wasn't there the? Well. What time is it? Yeah. <laughs> um. It's afternoon. It's afternoon. Um, so you've been trying to follow up leads since uh, well, in in the city since midday, have... and you've spent a few hours on that. But I but I but I arranged a date with that man that I met. Right. And we know when they are leaving the house and when it will be less protected. When are they leaving the house? They're after work this evening. Which is when exactly? <laughs> what man? <laughs> <laughs> right. We got a plan. Before all this happened, we had a plan. Oh wait, I do I know about? But we messaged, right? Yeah, we messaged. We messaged. We had, yeah. we had our, our, our link. Oh yeah, I remember that. I think it just said in the evening. I don't remember. So probably after like sundown. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so probably not enough time for a long rest. Um, between now and when? This evening, so no. No. Well, maybe just a breather. <laughs> <laughs> Short rest is not a problem. But not here. Okay. I, I just need time to gather myself and uh, re-examine re, re my mystical abilities. And your coin purse. And I need to count some money. Shall we go back to the inn then? Yes, perhaps back to the Elf Song Tavern. Yeah. <laughs> for, for a little rest. Sure. The inn is still the same as always, since um, the windows are pretty grimy. It's like dimly lit <laughs> by 
a few candelabras and there's music playing somewhere you're still not sure where actually the musicians are and well there's a few patrons but nothing that kind of sticks out but i'll get something to eat or drink or something and just yeah it's pretty pretty basic what they're serving but it's okay I'll count my money. <laughs> you count your money mm -hmm. and you have 62 shiny new gold pieces, oh. four silver and three copper. Nice. Three copper, four silver. How many buckbear teeth? And <laughs> eight buckbear teeth. Eight buckbear teeth. <laughs> okay. There isn't the, the... They seem to be the, the canines. Ooh. So um, if, if, yeah, at least two buckbear sets of canines or... Mm. Maybe more bugbears that lost each. Each, each lost one. And it's hard to tell whether they belong <laughs> together because the teeth are crooked. Who cares? Maybe they regrow when they lose them. Oh, oh. Or maybe it's some kind of a ritual. If you lose a fight, then you have you lose one tooth or something. Well, he didn't hand over a tooth to you, so no. maybe it's just mm -hmm. among bugbears. Uh, so there, I, so you, you try out a few theories where the back their teeth might have come from <laughs> while you drink and eat and rest. I will rearrange the money, so I will give everyone else 15 gold pieces. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Uh... I will spend some time meditating and use Arcane Recovery mm -hmm. to get a level 2 spell slot back. I have no spell slots. <laughs> oh, I've used mine. I, and I, can, I can't accept it. <laughs> I think on. I get them back um, on a long rest. My, my wife is... Uh, Responsible for all financial <laughs> things. So I, not allowed to. I mean, you sure? I mean, yeah, please keep your mic. No, nobody has to know. Oh, she will. <laughs> she will. Believe me. All right, you know what? With that look, fair. Uh, yeah, Paladin spells recharge on a long rest, don't they? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so but my it's... channel divinity has recharged. So mm. I, can, I can glow his sword again. So and I can okay. use actually one of my. Uh, what are they called? Hit die. Hit dice, thank you. I'm, I'm going to use mine too. So where did you set up the meeting with uh, the guard? Eight constitution is great. Are supposed to meet you at the Elsung Tavern? I think so, yes. yes. And also, you remember that the Elfsung Tavern has basically... Right. It has a back door and there's, there's um, a porch mm -hmm. where you can actually look over at the building that seems to be the Zentarum headquarters. Oh, I see. So just to refresh and... Hmm. Well, perhaps he shouldn't probably find me here because he's going to insist on, you know, all actually he's going to having recognize a date. me and then, yeah, <laughs> actually <laughs> having a date. <laughs> no one wants to role play that. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we have more important things to do, so I'm. And you still to... don't know what the date actually is, <laughs> that or is what that entails. True. I agree to it, but. <laughs> <laughs> You've, you've heard of them. Yeah, I've heard of them. That's what people do who aren't in Paladin orders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm probably, well, yeah, maybe yeah. I should go out, but I think when I finish my food and drink, I'll let these guys count their money or whatever, and I'm going to go out back and um, try and sort of hide a little bit in the door or something, just kind of, just kind of watch the... The back uh, door? Yeah, out of the back door ah. to watch the... Sunshine. You, you go upstairs and you need to walk through a room that you haven't been in before and oh. there's actually a troop, of, a troop of musicians who suddenly stop as you walk in. Suddenly oh. it's quiet and uh, they're in. Carry on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah, it's our practice room. I, can I, um... I'm just going to show the symbol of Paladin all of just... Can yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. sure. I, I don't need to be disturbing you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shuffle past them yes. awkwardly. Yes. Sorry, mm. sorry. The, okay. <laughs> I go from the top. <laughs> Same piece. That's what it is. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And yeah, and I'm just going to start up. So you see, I've heard that in some taverns they have minor magical enchantments that just play the same song over yeah. and over again. I believe that's what's here. Because there's absolutely nowhere. That, I mean, why would musicians just play the same thing over and over again, you know? It's almost unheard of. So I'm on the first <laughs> floor now? <laughs> yes, you're on the first floor. Okay. Let's go look out the window. We're deep in conversation about it. Yeah, so I was uh, like, oh, it's that same song again. The finest uh, of uh, Tavern Ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> that song that's called, uh, that's known in all of Ferron as the Tavern Song. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> ah, yes, that old classic. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, there's this um, wooden porch 
it's it looks a bit ratty, but it seems it would probably hold your weight, although you're wearing a chain chainmail and everything. Yeah, I'm still very and a shield <laughs> and a shield <laughs> and a long sword. Um, so you can Greek. kind of <laughs> glimpse down into into the back lot of the Zentarum headquarters, mm -hmm. and you see that um, the windows here are also barred. But you can see one door that's half open and someone standing in there and having a quiet conversation. You can't really, you could roll on, on perception yeah, if like you can pick up the try words. Try and listen, see if I can hear them. Do you still, are you still bardically inspired? Uh, no, because oh, it only lasts for 10 minutes. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, 10 minutes. That's well, unfortunate. Perception, oh, that's the 12. It's a 12. You can, you can hear something, the spiders, and I really don't like them. They should go back to the woods. The huffling is weird. But the more you don't get. Okay. Spiders. Okay. Well, um, I'll just keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. If someone, if something door. happens, yeah. Yes. Then someone yawns and says, I have to feed uh, the merchandise and then the claw, uh, the claw doses. The door feed. closes again. <laughs> feed the feed merchandise. The merchandise. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. Not that I'm there. I, well, I actually asked if we have time or not, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're having a short rest. We're in the tavern. Mm -hmm. She snuck off by herself. Hmm. She's a big girl. She can take care of herself. I'm sure she's absolutely fine. Or did you just excuse yourself for going for the toilet? Just not told us where you're going. <laughs> no, I know. I would have probably said where I'm going. Just keep okay. going on the building. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we talking about the same person? Hmm? Hey. <laughs> There's some lights going off and then other lights um, and other candles being lit mm -hmm. in the building. And it's slowly dusk is settling over the city, which mm -hmm. doesn't change anything about the noise level, mm -hmm. generally. The musicians are still trying to get it right. <laughs> just perfect. Yeah. The, one, the one song, yeah. just right. So is there an actual back door out of the tavern? Yeah. Okay, good. And it leads down to the back lot of the tavern, but there's uh, a fence, a wooden fence, um, about two uh, meters high between sort of this separating. back lot and the other one. Um, okay. Yes, uh, since you're on, on, on the first floor, you, you can look on. over the fence, yeah. but if you go down, okay. It, Yes, it, it, it is not new, but it looks pretty sturdy. Okay. Well, I'm a good climber, but... Um, In chainmail. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very stealthy, but I'm quite strong. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go back downstairs yes. and look into the tavern and see if the dude is there. At, at <laughs> that no moment, the door opens oh, and that dude <laughs> <laughs> actually comes in. And he's, got, he's brought a wingman with him, the other guard that you saw. <laughs> then okay. talking and he starts looking around. I'm just going to hide behind the wall. Yes. I'm going to peer around the corner. Do we, do we notice corner. her hiding behind the wall? I'm going to try and make eye contact. What's, What's your passive perception? <laughs> My <laughs> passive perception is 13. 11. Uh, um, down to the left. There. Lower, lower. Right thirteen. There. Yeah. Thirteen. So the the two guys were thirteen. You notice her peeking around the corner and going. <laughs> <laughs> so and you're disappearing. Are they magical? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's spellbound into this? I mean, there could be. Yeah. I'm no expert in such matters, but possibly, it's very possible. <laughs> I mean, Zan, do you, reckon, do you reckon you could have a look? I could, <laughs> but we've had that conversation about <laughs> our friend and her friends. Oh, them. Yes. Do you know these people that just came in? Because apparently she does. <laughs> I think I observed yes, what she was observed. doing. So. Yeah, you think, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the one, the one she talked to at the door. Oh, yeah, when you were an old woman. Yes. Yeah, I, I think... Um, <laughs> That is something the, that actually happened. The, yeah. the, the, the sentences one says okay. in Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. um, I, I imagine Alan, like he's, he's sort of been rather at ease since like the end of the fight. But I imagine when he sees them, he suddenly goes straight back into like business mode. <laughs> you, right. Okay. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I can't really exactly remember what the plan was here. <laughs> it was kind of all a bit vague and muddled, but... They're in here looking for our mutual friend, mm -hmm. and um, 
I don't know. I guess we could just go and talk to them, abduct them. <laughs> I don't know. Did we so, make a plan? I don't think so. We did. So now they have. We did. Shift but if you change. can't remember it, then that's just. I too mean, bad. that's that's more my problem than <laughs> Alan Crookwillow's. <laughs> well, I know, but well, I think originally the plan was that we would just kind of want to be. Well, we wanted to go there when there was less guards. I think that was the only plan we had. On shift change, yes. Yeah. So if that's. Oh, okay. You know, so. Assuming that. I mean, maybe there's the same amount of guards. Who knows? But. Okay, in, uh, if that was the plan, I go, okay, right. I don't know. Have they coming through the front door? Yes. Right, out the back, come on. <laughs> Finally. Just Do you leave money for the okay. tap? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not finished with my drink. <laughs> Take it with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't... I can't, t- I, 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 I can't I, steal the, the cup. <laughs> <laughs> then just hurry up, you know? Okay, I, I hurry up and uh, leave the cup. <laughs> 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 While walking out, <laughs> and just step one step back in on the counter. Out we go. <laughs> yes, exactly what I mean. There's there's a slightly frazzled looking half of paladin. Finally. <laughs> how, how much do the drinks cost? Is it four silver and three copper? Perhaps. Yes, maybe. There we go. She doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know. I just I just gave you the number to 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 explain that there was just. There was not a sad amount in mm. those gold in those gold purses, coin purses. Yeah. In which I mean, no, oh, I'm sure there wasn't. But it's actually slightly randomised. What? Yes. <laughs> I'm randomising things. <laughs> <clears throat> the magic of Dungeons and Dragons. So now you want to be the dwarf. Oh right, yes. Right. Well, no, I can't because I've I've not got enough magical energies left. But I thought oh, I, I looked like this other guy. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yes. I mean, you kind of. Do, I mean, if, it, if you know him, and you yeah, say so. Wiggly, um... I mean, th- there's also a back entrance we could use. I could <laughs> give you a lift over the fence if you want. No. Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna sure. try? Sure. Okay. Why not? So back entrance. What do you think? Come again. There's a back entrance to the building. I saw it. The, the, you know. Also, they okay. said something about spiders and coming from the forest. And they also had to feed the merchandise, which doesn't sound very Oh, that's good. not good. I assume we are interested in said merchandise. Are we? There was something about spiders. I, uh, I don't so... like the sound of that, to be honest, but um, I, gu- I guess we must for the orphanage <laughs> and also Baldur's Gate. Why? Because they are probably not feeding the spiders hay. So the merchandise no? is, is spiders from the forest. Yes. But okay, oh, we're interested are, in the the food, and uh, po- possibly they are looking in the food. for someone to provide food for the spiders. Probably or, some, probably people. Yes, yeah. I would yeah. assume it's people. Or very big flies. Well, we should definitely get in there then as fast as possible. <laughs> yes, that's uh, what I was getting very at. Very big flies. Yeah. Oh, the big spiders. Back entrance then. Right. <laughs> Where is it? Yes, Come on, lead the way. Go. Okay, okay, okay. I lead the way out mm. of the back door. Yes. And uh, also, I saw the band upstairs. What? Lovely. Okay. Mind blown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when she's stop. leading you up there, you actually walk through the room with the mm. band too, and they stop again. Oh, I thought they were upstairs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you need to go out to the porch and then down. Oh, That's yeah. the Very back entrance. Well. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. So, uh, oh, yes. how, how, look, it's the orchestra. Is, uh, hardly anyone ever comes in here. <laughs> well, I'll be. Oh, thank you. I was thinking about adding new songs to our portfolio. You know what? Portfolio. No, just keep it the same. I don't want to live in a world where there are two songs <laughs> play in a tavern. It would be terrible. <laughs> I mean, we are on our way to not living through another whole day, so you probably get your wish. Okay. Oh, you, don't be so pessimistic. You guys carry on. I'm just kind of pushing everyone out. Yes. Is, there, is there a hat or something? Or can I just... Just flick them a silver piece or something. Um, oh. Yeah, so, uh, someone who's playing the viola has um, um, like oh, yeah, open perfect. case for the viola. Yeah. Perfect. I will just put two silver in there. Whatever. <laughs> Tip the band. Yeah. No one knows is there. Yeah. They probably oh. they have probably never seen I don't know money. I, oh, I don't know. The, 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 thank you. <laughs> we were just rehearsing. Well, they, um, are, they are musicians. <laughs> then 
for the for the gentleman who doesn't want to live in a world with two songs in a tavern, once more from the top, guys. <laughs> One, Thank you. Two, three, four. Play the same song. <laughs> Very catchy. So you don't believe that you live till tomorrow, or that life even makes sense, but you give them what the silver coins. What are this? Yeah. Why? Why are they like? What do Why they do help care? me? What do they help me? The silver coins? Yes. Okay. So you just could give all your money away? I could, yes. And I mean, you, by, by now you are downstairs, they are <laughs> yeah. talking about yeah. the meaning of life and money on the yeah. stairs. You know, I get the feeling this happens quite often with this group of people that we've stumbled into. <laughs> we'll be trying to go somewhere and they'll just start talking to each other around Oh, I see. And then you need to wait. And then yeah. and do you want to went to fourth? <laughs> but, but just on the off chance, you know? Yeah. I have thought that we might fail our journey many times, and yet here we are. You boost him over the wall. So okay. maybe each, each time, you give me an each time we check fail, advantage. Okay. we just well, move yeah. to a parallel dimension where we don't fail. And he gets advantage because you're helping. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> so we are basically immortal. Don't mind yeah. us, guys. Yeah. <laughs> So you you boosted up oh, and boy. you you flank you that flank over and crouch down on the other side. I'm gonna message Zan. Come on, I'm already over the fence. Oh, <laughs> we should probably <laughs> no, join okay. the party. Yeah. They're trying to venture forth. Leave. Yes. <laughs> trying to venture forth. Yes. I, I will also. I, I believe when you message, you have to like whisper into your hand. But yeah, oh. it's yeah, a so whisper it's like... only your target can hear. Yeah. And I will. Come on. And Does I that... will message back. We are on our way. Does either of you need a? <laughs> I'm looking at you, sort of wizardy. <laughs> the wizardy weakling. Well, I can't fly over. <laughs> oh, and I probably need to use atle athletics, right? Yes. Yeah. So I can't but just... She's, she's offering yeah, I can okay. give you a, I can give you a boost. boost. Yes, sure. <laughs> yeah, then you have advantage. Advantage on my yes. athletics. Because... I need that. 16. 16. That, that's enough to get over. 7. That's what I got. <laughs> Kal Khalid stows his weapons, <laughs> jumps, and basically just hangs from the top of the fence. Uh, should I, um, I? I mean, I could if you want. I mean, do you want me to? I'll just. Um, I, I mean, I don't. Um, I'm just going to. Okay. Uh... <laughs> awkward shuffling. It's a very awkward situation where two people are stuttering at each other. <laughs> I, I will message both of them. Please, please don't touch there, yeah, but yeah, fine. I'm going to uh, try and grab his legs and just kind of like this, because he's a bit heavier, so I'm just like, uh, you know? Mm. Okay, so when you're doing all the work, you give me a strength check, <laughs> simple. Doing all the work, yeah. Yes. 19. Mm. She, she basically just lifts you over, and then your own, only thing you have to do on the other side is drop down. Just hit first. <laughs> Maybe Alan. I manage, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, Alan and Zan are already on the other side. Alan is already... Yeah. Crouched and in, kind of in dusting counter off mode. My cloak. Okay. Can I be inside a barrel? <laughs> just because... Yes, there are actually a few few broken old barrels in okay. the back lot. I'll be sort of crouched inside an old barrel. So you crouch down and immediately become a barrel. No, I just no. go into a barrel. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Oh right. I'm just yeah. standing kind of around the corner and just okay. stand there. Do you oh, yes. believe it will work that way in Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Athletics, uh, 16. Yeah, no problem. Okay. You jump up. Ah, probably over. a bit noisy when I do yes. that. Yes, and then with a the jingling of um, a lot of tiny little <laughs> metal rings, you fall down the other side. Hmm. Okay, well, everything is silent for the moment. In what? front of you is the backside of the building you're trying to get it to. How big is the small kind of area that we're in? Um, it's a little bit crooked because the um, the building is following the the arch of the road on the other side, mm -hmm. and it's roughly yeah 12, 12 to sixteen square meters maybe. Okay. Do you need feet? Uh, no. That's... Maybe I, I, as in measurements. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need some extra feet? Yeah. <laughs> Is, is it's that, a weird is sentence too. Is that a halfling saying? It's like, yeah. do you need a hand? But halflings go, do you need some feet? Well, it is, is that how it works? It is now. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's, half no, halflings, it's a thing now. Ha halflings are very much uh, staunch supporters of imperial measurements. Uh, because yes. I see. Oh. So they, they actually are measured with halfling feet halfling because they've got yeah. big feet. Yeah, so I imagine halfling, halfling imperial is probably a bit smaller than... Yeah. 
Let's not get into this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's sort of yeah. It's not too big, but um, it's big enough. And there's just one door. That's yes, there's one, one door on the back side, and uh, another building is, is just adjoining this one. Mm -hmm. So they share a wall. Okay. And the back lots are also almost sherry there's a, there's another fence but a much much more crickety one and there's also a door in that fence okay, okay. Are there any windows yes there are quite a lot of windows but they're all barred okay and um you can see light behind two of them right um is the next to the door is there a window in the on the ground floor yes okay. there is. then i'm gonna sort of creep forward as stealthily as i possibly can and then try to peer in through the window uh it's dark inside Okay. Um, but your half elven eyes yes, can I at least pick out the have dark vision. Yes. Yes. Um, can can pick out what is in there, and you see that it's basically um, a room set up for two people to sleep there. Mm -hmm. There's two chests, two small beds, and that's basically it. Okay. But right now, one only one of the beds is occupied. Someone oh. is lying down there and okay. snoring slightly. Then I'm just trying to the others. Someone's sleeping in there. Maybe... Nod. <laughs> can you open the door quietly or something? The barrel nods. Quick, <laughs> quick. <laughs> Alan, Alan, where did you go? <laughs> Alan! <laughs> Could you open the door quietly, please? Oh, I'll message you. I'm in the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice to come out of the barrel now. I come out of the barrel. Yes. <laughs> We're the heroes. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want me to try and open the door? This is what happens if you have a Baldur's escape party without the leader. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, you're the leader. No, no, I thought he was the leader. I thought I was the leader too. I see. Oh. <laughs> um, That's I what I... you get if you have a Baldur's escape party where the leader is a rogue, essentially. Yeah. Even though he's essentially. not. Essentially. Even though, Even he's, though not. he's not. Yes. I will creep up to the door. <laughs> yes. And I will check and see if it is locked. It's actually not. Oh my goodness. I will stealthily open the door. Okay, make me a stealth check actually. Okay. Uh, 22. 22. You open the door slightly without a noise. You lift it up a little bit so the hinges won't creak. Put a bit of oil on them. Yes. <laughs> and then you look inside. Um, there's a corridor, it's dimly lit just by two candles, candlesticks on the walls. And you can see one broad furry muscled back going downstairs on the far end, near, mm -hmm. the, near the front door. Someone going, I am really to try to tell Montara and part it. They, they hit me and it really they cut me apart and I don't know what happened to Gurish. Right, I think I know who that is. Oh dear. I will message everyone quickly. The escaped bugbear is here. Um, I will message back. Are you sure it's the escaped one? Yes. <laughs> um, okay. So there's the corridor and there's the, the stairs, you said? Yes. Is there... And there's also two doors left and right. Okay. Stairs down, stairs up, two doors. Right. And the uh, three doors, four doors, including the one you are using right now, <laughs> and the front door. And the front door. Right. Four doors, four doors, okay. two stairs. Four okay. doors, one two up, stairs. One down. Okay. So the way we came in, the window on the left had the No, bed. the window on the right. Oh, right. The window on the left was dark. Yeah. Both are dark, but you only uh, peered into the one on the right because okay. it was closer yeah. to the door. So I'm guessing those right. are the sleeping rooms. Yeah. Okay. I will try and go into the other room. I'll just mm -hmm. try and creep in there. Uh, well, I'm going, still going, you know, um, yeah, you don't have to make a stealth check every time you move in the building yeah. because that would be tedious. Yeah. So you open that door slightly and you see another room just a little bit bigger than, um, yeah, you didn't see that one. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a middle sized room and there's three beds mm -hmm. and three chests and a table with a few playing cards left on it. Okay. And no occupants? No. Okay. I, I will then message everyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, the room on the left is unoccupied. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come in. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you go first. I'll go last. Okay. I will stealthily attempt to. Yes. Follow. Everyone, give me one stealth yeah. check. Oh, there we go. Disadvantage. Clink clang. Clink clang. 
Oh dear. Twenty one. <laughs> Two. I guess uh, disadvantage disadvantage counts for me as well. What I've kind of armor? Plus twenty. Armor you... I guess it's plate mail yes, or something. Uh, yeah. then, You've got okay. half plate. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, it's not just me. Good. <laughs> And the fighters go Fight. clink clink. Hey, that's more than me. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got in stealth? I've got minus one. I've got two. <laughs> you're, you're a dexterous one, yeah, apparently. I'm, a, I'm not very dexterous. I've got 14 dexterity, yeah. Yes. He's, he's just a fighter. You need, you need charisma too. Yeah. So everything else. Yeah. Just I'm a fighter. A bit, I'm, a I'm not charismatic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, Khalid is more than gangster. just a fighter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. what, what else is he? A, a friend. <laughs> mm. A good uh-huh. husband. <laughs> a half of. A hero <laughs> would disagree. So, a- actually, Zan moves rather stealthily inside, um, his hand on the moon blade, and follows Alan, and then the two of you try to go through the door at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and basically crash your armored shoulders together with, oh, with uh, a lot of screeching and, and crashing. Another awkward moment sorry, between no. the two of us. Yes. Yes. I would go last. Oh, sorry, though. No, you go first. I close the door to the room where... <laughs> <laughs> and from, you, you can hear that from the other room, wise. the one you looked yeah. inside... <coughs> What are you? Keep it down! <laughs> and then you hear steps coming to the door to your right. Oh, what do you want to do? I pull my crossbow. <laughs> do we hear the steps as well behind the other door? Um, passive perception 13, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stumble forward to try and get unstuck from the door frame. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you get unstuck from the and door frame. And then draw frame. my sword. Especially as Khalid moves half a step backwards and readies his okay. weapon. <sighs> Ah, well, I like it better this way anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah. The door opens and uh, someone very blurry eyed looks out. What can I interject? Yes. When the door opens, can I open our door slightly and try to charm the guy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I wanted to shoot a crossbow bolt between his eyes. So, <laughs> roll initiative, both of you. <laughs> I mean, we know he's coming. Shall we? We, had, we had time to prepare, right? <laughs> yes, it's just about. Um, which one of oh, you? Okay. Well, then, first? well then, oh, yeah. one. <laughs> one. Okay, I might be quicker than that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm at three. It's your initiative. And you're four. You're five. Uh, for, okay. On five. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, but the one yeah. is yeah. almost yeah. nice. You react quickest very slowly. Yes. <laughs> because I wanted to do that stealthily. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So That's... what are you doing? There's, there's a human male opening the door. He's very blurry eyed. He's just um, basically wearing long johns, looking out. Um, huh, do I actually. I don't read. Because, like, charm person has that thing where after an hour they know they have been charmed and then they're probably going to look it's for us. It's fine. You said you charm him. Just do it. I could also try to just tell him to. I will just. Through a half open door, I will tell him, it's fine, go to sleep, I'll take care of him. And then I shoot him. <laughs> and then he shoots him. <laughs> so I. No, as, um, I as I rolled a one, I think I don't. I, I won't shoot him. Mm-hmm. You shoot like I the prepare, ceiling or something. I prepare to shoot him, and then he stumbles in yeah. his pajamas and looks tired. And, and <laughs> You're I, like, oh, maybe I, I should have yeah. shot an unarmed man. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He's just woken up. So can I try to persuade him to go back to bed? And then roll a natural one, and then all hell breaks loose. I mean, there's also a f- full armored paladin in the <laughs> corridors. Yes, you can try and persuade him, but I, I'm going to warn you that it's going to be hard. Okay, fine. Then I will just charm the guy. I will cast charm person on the on the guy, and he has to. I'm do not a... sure whether that's just Eric's mood now or that. <laughs> He's... Give me a wisdom save against DC 13. A wisdom save against DC 13. Mm-hmm. Turns out this is the wisest Nine. man. Oh. Okay. So he is now charmed by me. For some reason, someone he can't see behind the door. <laughs> I thought it was a half open door and you kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So he can just barely see behind the door. He's he, like, it's very friendly towards mm-hmm. me now. And now I can tell him, it's fine. Just go to bed. I'll take care of the guys. Oh, oh are you coming too? <laughs> Not just yet. <laughs> In a bit. Oh, fine. That just, time. Just, oh, wait. just don't wait. I will wake you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> closes the door. I hate him. this. <laughs> <laughs> I put the crossbow away. <laughs> oh, nice one. Wow, that. A little more well quiet now, maybe. Wow. 
<laughs> so Sorry. what? Should I get Again. rid of my plate mail? <laughs> yes. So now no. you gather in the empty room. Yes. Well, that will take 10 minutes, so probably yeah. not. Right. We'll be allowed. Okay, so, yeah, we go back. Yes. Go what do you want to say? Tell, the, the I, tell me. All whispered, of course. Right. It's probably not a good idea. You two, stay here. Okay. If there's trouble. We can message you. Very well. We'll take a look around. Very well. And we'll see what we find. Oh, yes. And you stay here. If we need you, we'll call for you. Just as a heads up, there is a slight chance that in an hour there will be a very angry guard waking up on the, in the other room. That's so, all right. We can uh, okay. barricade the door off. Do you need an hour? I, we no, got, no, no, no. I hope no, not. No. We got loads of time. It'll be fine. Very well. I hope not, but just in case we die or something. <laughs> Don't Just be so, so you pessimistic. Know. Now, come on, we're wasting time. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lead the way. So if they leave and we stay here, can we just have a very, very lengthy conversation that's awkwardly trying to find out who goes first? <laughs> Through the door? Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have this Are we still really, standing in the door frame? No, no, no. no. There's a room, but I would like us to have this like really sort of detailed, like, oh no, I mean, I can go first if you can go first. And then basically <laughs> try to figure out in the end that you want to attack with a crossbow, so I guess I should go first through doors in the future. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but we probably take ten minutes to arrive at that conclusion because it's... Because it's you. It's, it's, it's you two talking. Being very polite. Only yes. ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to take as long as they need yeah. to message yes, you next. Yes, exactly. Good. Yeah. So the two of you sneak out again. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? So we know Upstairs, what's... downstairs, other door, front door. Well, we know what's in the other door. That's the front door. I say let's go... Up or down? Where, where would they keep people? Probably downstairs. Probably downstairs. But then there's probably the important people upstairs. So it depends what you want to deal with first. Pick one. Downstairs then. It doesn't matter. No, wait. Let's go upstairs. Because if it goes wrong, we can jump out of the window. I'm a decisive leader. Okay. Right. Upstairs. Fine. <laughs> upstairs it is. You sneak Good. upstairs. You sneak upstairs. It basically looks the same as downstairs. Only um, there's another story to the building. Mm -hmm. um, there's another corridor, but obviously no front and back door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, two rooms or two more corridors. At least there are doors. Okay. All oh, right. Always go up a level. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we check out these doors or just carry on? I, I mean, they won't just leave them in the corridor, so we probably have to, right? <laughs> yes, I suppose. So carry on up. Is that what you're saying? I'm slightly okay, confused. Fine, fine. Yeah, let's carry on up. Carry on up. We'll that's, go up again. That's uh, that's the top level yep. of the building. Mm -hmm. And um, going up there, you can hear a door closing mm. just as you arrive on the landing. Was the bugbear that I saw going upstairs? Or no, downstairs? he was going downstairs. He was going downstairs, okay. Right. Yes, yeah, so we know there's a bugbear downstairs. Uh, door closing on the top level. And then yes. other two doors? There are two doors. The one on the right just closed and the one on the left actually has a plaque on it. I go up to the door with the plaque on the left. No interruption while working on pain of death. M. I made a plaque specifically for that. <laughs> Obviously, like yeah, it's gold, very nicely, very, very nicely yeah. done, engraved. Nice. Can I just try to sort of <laughs> listen or have my, like have my ear on the other door try to get a sense of whether there's someone behind there and who the one with the plaque or the other one the other one the other one perception check yes oh sorry Oof, that is a nine mm, nah you're not sure okay i just sort of shrug right i, ki I kind of gesture to the door you're at mm -hmm. to kind of go that one. I call this a message you. Let's go in that one. Because this, okay. this, this one has a plaque on it. Whoever's in there is busy. There's a disturbance that might not come out. Okay. I can basically message you. I don't hear anything, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. Very true. Right. Um, how are we going to do this? I need, I need a plan. I need an angle. I, I, I'm probably having a, a, a conversation with you through message. Oh boy. I'm kind of talking to myself, mm -hmm. but I'm messaging him because <laughs> I feel the need to have someone to bounce mm -hmm. ideas off. <laughs> Dan's probably the worst person for that, but yes. I still need to do it anyway. He's basically going to tell you that all your ideas are terrible yes. and you're going to die. 
Well, it doesn't matter. I, I need I need to bounce off anyway. So, how about this? I can't disguise myself. I could just try and we could knock, or I could knock, and then we'll see who answers. And I can just try and talk my way in. I'm very good in these kind of situations. What do you think of that? <laughs> I might have made a grave error in following you up here. <laughs> That's what I think about that. I knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a moment, and then someone comes to the door, half undressed. I don't want to be near the door yes, when that you, happens. You so. sign away. The door opens. There's a um, very tall human male on the other side, and he's looking down. And looking down, he probably... Are you wearing your hood up? Or um... Down? I probably, I probably have my hood down now mm -hmm. inside. I've probably like, I probably got my cloak around me a bit, mm -hmm. hood down. But I, 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 I kind of like um, completely changed the expression on my face, and probably alter my voice as well. So, mm -hmm. I, so he looks down, just like, all right, I've been sent from, uh, been sent from downstairs. They said I should come and see you. Are you, are you busy? I was just going to... Who are, who are you? I, oh, I'm you, new you, here. You make a performance roll. Oh, well, <laughs> your... Well, performance goes. 18. Ooh, Ooh that's a good performance. Like, you keep changing, exchanging people, yeah, but we'll keep dying, yeah. It's just... Yeah, it happens in this island, well, I've done it. Welcome to Borders Gate. Um, Pleasure. <laughs> uh, no, I was just going to bed. Are you looking for the place to sleep? Have um, you been been um, told where where your bed is? Uh, no, actually, no. They they were a bit vague on that point. Um, they 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 said I should come up here, but uh, maybe they meant the floor down below. Um, maybe. Um, well, there there's empty beds here. There's there's Montrin's, um room over there. Um, you're oh, probably that's... not going to sleep there. All oh, right. Uh, yeah. No. Of course not. Not with him. Eh? No. Yeah, you're, you're welcome to take a bed here. Um, yeah, can I help you with, with anything else? Well, I'm, I'm like I said, this is all... I'm all off, by the way. Oh, name's, uh, name's Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy halfling names. Halfling. Jimmy, Jimmy Loafer. Mm. <laughs> I love this. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, nice to make. Um, no, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll probably a bit presumptuous coming up to the top floor and taking the bed. Here. I'll, I'll just take one of the ones downstairs. And and what, what exactly is in the uh, in the basement down there? Because I I thought I heard someone going down there and making some some noise. Some big oh, fella. you haven't been introduced to what we actually do here. No, not yet. No, it was like it was all very you know. Yeah, the usual. Um, yeah. Uh, down there, there's the entrance of the other building where we keep the slaves. Uh, and also, that's the room where Bonto Run does his work that's not writing. Right, okay. Okay, well... So you probably, um, if you want to introduce yourself to him, then uh, you better show you he's probably downstairs right now. He's probably down there. Mm. All right, okay, good. Well, thanks thanks for the tip. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll make my way down, yeah. Mm. Cheers. Have a, have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Uh, don't piss off the other halfling. <laughs> No, no intention of that. I mean, mm. he's got a bit of a reputation, hasn't he? Yeah, well, he's got a temper. Yeah, four. All right. <laughs> so cl you. Cl See close you. the door. I can't believe that works. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Bards. Bards. What? Yeah. His performance role was an agent. No, no, it's, it's, that's what he does. He's that's a bard. what I do. That's what bards do. Yeah. So, yeah, I imagine Sam got all of that. <laughs> uh, nice. Message let's go downstairs. Probably don't have to be too stealthy about it now because mm -hmm. we've kind of got the, yeah, got the in. Oh, so it means Montaron is not in his room right now. Yeah, in this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> shall we have a quick look? Ooh. <laughs> or shall we wait until? Probably best to wait if, till we've actually dealt with him. Do you think? Maybe. It might be trapped. That's true. Yeah. Tell you what. He's, let's let's deal it with. It should be trapped. It, <laughs> I mean, you know him better than I do. It should be trapped. Right, then... Well, I have known him for, like, two days, but yes. <laughs> That's still better than I do. No, for a couple of minutes if we left him in the mines. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, whatever. That seemed like... That was man. enough. That was enough. Yes. That was enough to get all of this. You probably so. went upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, <laughs> waiting at, uh, at the stairs for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I will come down and go back into our... our yes. Our, our digs. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. the room were all in. And I was still... You just kept they, the tail end of the conversation. <laughs> yes, so we're just like, yeah. good. And then I go first. <laughs> and then you can just from the back. Yes, okay. yes. Good. <laughs> right then. So. You're back. I'm back. You're still alive. I am still alive. Uh, yes. Kelly looks a bit surprised. Um, yes, surprisingly. You're an old Right, so. Managed to find out a bit of information without causing a ruckus. Oh, very good. Uh, that fellow, that halfling fellow who apparently looks like me, this, what's his name? Mon... Mon- Monteron. Mon- Monteron. He's downstairs in the other building with, and I quote, the slaves. I know you, you, you two should absolutely be completely flabbergasted <laughs> by this information. <laughs> I myself am absolutely seething. <laughs> Um, Wasn't that the whole point of us coming <laughs> yeah, here? Yeah, we wanted to save the slaves, I think. Yes, good point. Well, now we know they're here. And he's probably also down there working right now. He's got a room upstairs, but we figured it's not a good idea to mess with that currently. So... Cellar. Cellar, yeah, it, cellar is. it is. And into the other room. Also, okay. there's a there's the bugbear down there that oh dear. we saw earlier. Right. So... Well, perhaps he still remembers, you know, my the, the Wrath of Helm, and perhaps we can... Persuade him to leave again. He did run away last time. There you go. Right. He's a coward. <laughs> okay, let's go. And you, you had an important discussion. Who's yes, going first? Uh, I'm going first and then he comes second. Time. Right. Yeah. Try and do it a bit quieter. Well, I'll, I'll follow you. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. So Is I'm it... going to go last. You're going to go last, right. Oh, I see. So you go first. I'll go I'll first. I'll follow you. Follow me. Just give it a moment or two. Okay. Okay? Yes. Then I go out the door. Mm-hmm. I'll wait a moment. In my head I go 21, 22, <laughs> 23, and then I follow him. Yeah. Count to draw the crossbow again. Yes. So, and Zan? Does not go into the other room. No, he's, he's <laughs> out behind them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think you would. Um, okay. I mean, maybe. So you go downstairs. And Hopefully you stealthily. Um, yes. Yeah, you end up in in a cellar tunnel that just leads. Um, if you're orienting yourself on the map, it would lead east towards mm-hmm. the other building. Mm-hmm. It's slightly damp, and you can hear voices from ahead. And there's also a door standing slightly ajar, and you can see light on the other side. Oh wait, do we have one of those parties where only one person re- actually requires light to see, or how uh, we have? We, do we have yeah. a party where? Yeah, dark vision. Oh no, no, no. Half, half, elf. Elf. Half, half elf, half elf, half elf, half elf, full elf, full elf, elf. The ha- halfling, but no dark vision. So yes. we are one of those we parties are. where exactly one person actually <laughs> needs light. Perfect. However, I do have candles. <laughs> <laughs> so I just I was just checking because yeah, just damp just cellar, those. cellar and stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I will probably. Uh, I mean, is it like completely pitch black down there? No, no. Um, there. For one, there's actually um, another um, another candle mm-hmm. stick um, that's mounted on the wall, mm-hmm. and also the door at the end of the tunnel is slightly ajar and light and is like spilling through. through. And that's the only way to go, basically. Yes. Okay. Um, <sighs> so I'm just thinking I could try and uh, jammy my way in there, but at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I will. Uh, I will light a candle and sort of wander down mm-hmm. towards the uh, towards the door. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, as you arrive at the door, you can un- hear on the other side a oh, and then a sudden sh- loud shriek. Oh God! And <laughs> weird stabbing noises and something like sucking. Mm. Uh. Someone gulping down something slobbery like a milkshake. I don't she like didn't this. actually tell us the thing she picked up. The, uh, yes, the, I did. The, no, I said did. they're you spiders did. and you said they eat oh, Okay. People. Yeah, we had a conversation. Right, 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 I remember. Sorry. Or yeah. very big flies. Yes. I will oh, wait right. for everyone else to catch up before I set foot into this room. Yeah. I am right behind mm. you. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> Banging my elbows against the wall and things like that. Yeah. Well, you said slightly quieter than before. <laughs> it is slightly quieter slightly. than before. Okay. Well, uh, that doesn't sound good. We should probably stop whatever it's happening in there. All right. <laughs> of <laughs> course. Open the door. Yes. 
blow out the Towards candle. the giant spiders, please. <laughs> so you open the door. Kill mm-hmm. the evil. What you see is a room that's obviously meant for, for working and tallying. There's a table and there's a few boxes and things on the table. Behind mm-hmm. the table um, is a halfling. Mm-hmm. Dark hair, slightly bushy, bushy sideburns, um, dark coat, few stabby weapons stashed around the person who's looking slightly bored down at a bugbear who's being eaten by a giant spider at the moment. Oh, well, that's one problem. Behind so. him. <laughs> you know that bugbear? Yeah, you, you know, that, know bugbear. that bugbear. And you also know the halfling that's yeah, off and his they do on. look extremely alike, right? <laughs> yes, they yeah, do. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so you're basically looking into a, a mirror, be- just. I am going to be very confused. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. And behind Monteron is another bugbear guard who's, uh, well, the only places in his face that are not covered by fur is his snout. And that seems pale looking down at the other oh. bugbear oh, being, being digested. Mm. Okay. So uh, as I come in, I've kind of blown out the candle see this. I go, oh, sorry, this isn't the canteen. It's uh, usually it's not the canteen, but... Today, for bad gods, it is. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I like your idea. It's Who very good. Who are you, anyway? The name's Jimmy Lowfoot. Are you working for me? I would remember you working for me. Oh, I'm new here. I just met a guy upstairs, uh, or, or that was something his name was. He's a nice fellow. He's an idiot. You should give him a promotion. <laughs> And then my breath, I go, he's, the guard is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just behind the door and I thought we were storming. <laughs> <laughs> Halfling's busy exchanging barbs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, very good. Well, um, nice canteen you've got here. Not sure about the spider, though. Not a biggest fan. <laughs> Oh, so... I prefer scorpions myself. You don't know the deal we have with the... with the elf. The deal with the elf? Yes. I mean... I you might do. You seem to be so new here that you don't know what we're doing. I think you'd better end up dead. I don't like your face. <laughs> The irony. <laughs> he doesn't seem to look in the mirror a lot. <laughs> and he clicks his fingers, points at the spider that rears up. Well, you can't tell what a spider is actually looking at with eyes all around. Mm-hmm. But Everything is the answer. Twitches, twitches his pity pops and he says, No, make me call him a proud little one and eat him too. The spider turns around. Oh dear. Swing. Swing. <laughs> No, wait, swords don't make that noise in real life. But this isn't real life. Mine does. <laughs> <laughs> Magic swords can. Magic swords can. Mine does. So we're just quickly going to set up the scene. Ooh. And we'll be back once it's done. So uh, the nude situation is set up. And we also already have rolled initiative to get it out of the way. And Zan is going first. Oh, great. <laughs> Being the last in line. Oh, great. Position oh, okay. Wise. What's the range on that? It only holds a minute. Do I want to do that? I want to do that. I need to do that. 60 feet. Uh, can I see Montoron? Not from there, right? Uh, no. The Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's very tiny behind his table. Uh, so I can move up. Oh, don't sorry, get them sorry. confused. Yes. Sorry. sorry. That's not Montoron. What? That's Alan. Yes, but can I see Monteron from here? Now you can see Monteron. Okay. You don't look the same. <laughs> I have a perfect yeah. image in my head. I am so going to regret standing there. Yes, but probably. But I'm going to cast whole person on Monteron. Are you standing within oh. five feet of me? I think you are. I, yes, yeah, I yes, am. Good for you. <laughs> so I'm going to just pull out a straight piece of iron from my component pouch. Let it hover in the air. It kind of hums. Um, mutter a few arcane words and point to Montoron, and then he hopefully does not save against my whole person spell. Very, very. Impressive. So he no- needs to make what kind wisdom of wisdom? Thirteen. Against wisdom against thirteen. So what's your wisdom, Montoron? That's a seven. <gasps> it worked. Oh. It worked. Okay. Um, <clears throat> of course it did. <laughs> so Montoron is now paralyzed for a minute. Oh! 
Oh. Yes. He no. is now paralyzed okay. for a minute. So 10 rounds. Twice. Paralyzed is the worst. That is the, the worst. worst um, yes. Oh. Worst that was the whole point. Worst condition to be in. Yeah. Very good. He um, suddenly goes very stiff. <laughs> oh. And yeah, the similarity to Alan disappears <laughs> for some reason. Now that he, he is unable to move and speak or something, and he basically looks like a puppet that's dangling from one string. Wow. <laughs> but the spider already has its orders. Oh, um, no. Lucky for you. Um, luckily for you, the spider rolled a one. Yeah. So <laughs> it's slightly disoriented, and, and, and there's still f feed dripping from mm. her pedipalps. It's in she, a slight food coma. Mm. Yes. Doesn't the creature seems to be a, a, lit, a little hesitant to leave its meal mm. alone. Mm. But the bugbear goes, <gasps> You've. <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> Very eloquent. <laughs> and which one is he going to shoot? Ah, uh, he's going to shoot Zan. Oh, great. Is an 11 going to hit you? No. Ooh, Ooh. Yes. So the huge arrow from this bugbear arrow bow goes past you and you can hear it whispering past your elven ear. Mm. And but it goes the major the mage armor protects me. Yes. Clinks against the wall behind you and falls down, shattered. Uh -huh. Next is Monteron himself, and he just goes... Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Alan! Uh, you can save at the end of all of your turns. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say. And he's free again. <gasps> oh, I hate this spell um, so much! He lost his turn, though. He lost his turn. Yeah, he lost yeah. his turn though. Because Why did you cast this spell if you hate it? <laughs> it's very Is useful. that not obvious? <laughs> no. Because he hates himself? Yeah. <laughs> because someone decided that an enchanter is a very good mage speci specialization. So no evocation someone. spells. I mean, you stole his turn, so you know. Yeah, yeah but I could yeah, have stolen you wait 10. your turn too. Ten. Still, it's Alan's turn. Yeah. Alan, <laughs> and Max now had a few seconds to think about what he wants to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, Evil halfling drops back down and creaks his neck. Considering the order that the spider has been given, I will... Uh, I will move... You will foff? I will foff. I will move into the room slightly, mm -hmm. just round in front of the door. Um, just so other people can get in. And I will look at the spider and I will just kind of say under my breath, Oh, you're an ugly bugger, aren't you? And I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> you're mocking the spider. Doesn't the creature need to have um, a level of intelligence? If the target can hear you, though it need not understand you, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Just as a creature, I can see. Uh, saving throw against? Uh, 13. And it barely doesn't make it. Okay. Then it's not it, very wise, the spider. Then it takes 1d4 psychic damage and has disadvantage on its next attack roll. One psychic damage. One psychic damage. I, I, I insulted it, even though it couldn't understand me. <laughs> Which is interesting hurt. because it's Monter on Spider, and yet it still hurts when yeah. you insult it. <laughs> it twitches one of its pity pops and kind of turns <laughs> slightly sideways as, as if it's trying to understand <laughs> the nasty words you are hurling towards it. Khalid! Can I have sympathy for the spider that's going to eat me? Sorry, the way I, she uh, said it. Can I, can I shoot at the spider or is uh, Zan blocking the way? Um, no, you can shoot the spider, I'd say. Zan is not very... Why do <laughs> Yes. He's, he, he's a slim little half elf. He's a, he's no, a full elf. Full elf. He's a slim little full elf. Okay, then I shoot at the spider. Shoot the spider. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, 24. Bloody That's a hit. 23, sorry. That's oh. still a hit. <laughs> 1d8. <laughs> uh, Three. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. <laughs> Gwyn. Yes. You Death can... by a thousand cuts is what they say to that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I think seeing as um, the spider seems to me the biggest threat at the moment because it's a huge monster, I will attack the spider as well. Good. So you move so forward into forward. melee. Yeah. Forward. Down, foul beast! <laughs> For 
Ich habe auch gelesen. <lacht> Uh, I'm also going to channel divinity again. Mm -hmm. So while shouting that, my sword begins Glows. to glow golden and um, emit a bright light and becomes a magical weapon, in case that makes mm -hmm. a difference. And I can add my charisma modifier to my attack rolls. So that's a 19, that's a 22 to hit. That's a hit. And the spider takes six slashing damage. Four. Wow. Yeah. You one of the pity pops flies away <laughs> and, and the thing makes makes a low chittering sound because it hardly can make any other sounds. <laughs> and its legs twitch in pain. And then it's uh, the turn of the spider and since you hacked away one of the pity pops, it's going to go for a different attack and it actually lifts lifts up and brings its lower body forwards and mm. starts moving its legs, spinning and throwing, webbing at you, mm -hmm. and trying to entangle you to with its spider sick and rolling it too. It doesn't hit. Oh, I behind my shield. Yes. <laughs> so you suddenly have, have a nice little curtain of spider <laughs> silk on your shield, but that's basically all that happens. Ah, and the yeah, I, I think you're going to yeah. decide the, the this fight the for you pretty quickly or going to lose it pretty quickly, depending on Monteron. <laughs> and mm -hmm. we're going to find out who's going away as the victor next time, because that's all for today. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you. Thank you for the game. <laughs>